Christina. I'm the teacher um, for Children, Wonder, and Worship here at Miriam Christian Church. Um, we wanted to put this out on the internet for you to enjoy at home and share with your friends and family. Um, let's get started by singing um, our song, Be Still and Know That I Am God. And when we hear the words to the song, we know it's time to quiet our bodies and quiet our hearts and get ready to hear the words of God. Be still and know that I am God. Be still and know that I am God. Be still and know that I am God. This is the season of Lent, the time we get ready to celebrate the mystery of Easter, the time we are all on our way to Jerusalem. But who will show us the way? Jesus will show us the way. Once every year, the people of God go up to Jerusalem, the holy city of God, to celebrate the feast of the Passover to remember how God led them through the waters to freedom. This year, Jesus was going through the city of Jericho on his way to Jerusalem. Crowds of people wanted to see him. Was a chief tax collector. People didn't like Zacchaeus. He took too much of their money, so he was very rich. Zacchaeus wanted to see Jesus too. But he was too short. And the people would not let him get through. So Zacchaeus climbed a sycamore tree. When Jesus came, he looked up and called him by name. Zacchaeus, come down. I must stay with you today. Zacchaeus was so happy, he came right down. But the people were angry. They said, why is Jesus staying with Zacchaeus? Zacchaeus does bad things. He's a tax collector. He takes money that isn't his. Then Zacchaeus said, Jesus, I will give half of everything I have to the poor, and if I have taken money that doesn't belong to me, I will give it back and four times more. Jesus said, Zacchaeus, today you are saved. You are right with God, and you are right with the people. I, the special son of God, have come to find and to save everyone who is lost. I wonder what it is like to be short, so short that you can't see what you want to see. I wonder how Zacchaeus felt when Jesus called him by name. I wonder what Jesus and Zacchaeus said as they walked together. I wonder if it was hard for Zacchaeus to give back what didn't belong to him. I wonder how he felt when he gave half of his things to the poor. I wonder how the, how the poor felt. I wonder how Zacchaeus felt when he was right with God and right with the people. I wonder what Jesus meant when he said he came to find the lost. 
Now it's time for our work time. If you want to um, gather some materials at home and do your work time at home, you can pause the video here. We're going to pause as well so we can set up for the next piece and we'll meet you back here. Hi, welcome back. I, I hope you had enough time to get your work done. If not, maybe you can work on it later. We're going to move on to our Bible story and our time of offering and, and feast. So, we're going to light the Christ candle. And this reminds us that Jesus is with us when we hear the words of God. The story we heard today is in the Bible. It was a story of Zacchaeus. And it says, He entered Jericho and was passing through it. A man was there named Zacchaeus. He was a chief tax collector and was rich. He was trying to see who Jesus was, but on account of the crowd, he could not, because he was short in stature. So he ran ahead and climbed the sycamore tree to see him, because he was going to pass that way. When Jesus came to the place, he looked up and said to him, Zacchaeus, hurry and come down, for I must stay at your house today. So he hurried down and was happy to welcome him. All who saw it began to grumble, though, and said, He has gone to be the guest of one who is a sinner? Zacchaeus stood there and said to the Lord, Look, half of my possessions, Lord, I will give to the poor, and if I have defrauded any one of anything, I will pay, pay back four times as much. Then Jesus said to him, Today sal salvation has come to this house, because he too is a son of Abraham. For the Son of Man came to seek out and to save the lost. So now is our time of offering and thanksgiving. Time of offering and thanks. Um, you can say a prayer at home in your head. Uh, God is always listening, whether you say it out loud or in your head. Um, Dear Heavenly Father, thank you so much for this beautiful day, and thank you for your many blessings and your hidden blessings. Thank you for this time that we get to be with our family. Thank you for a time that we get to learn and grow um, and just know more about you. Lord, thank you for, for everything that you can give to us, that you give to us, and be with us every day. We ask this in your name. Amen. Now, watch as I change the light from being in one place at one time to being in all places at all times. And in a similar way, Jesus is everywhere all at once. Now it's time for our feast. And you can get a snack at home. We can have communion together. Maybe you can enjoy it with your parents or your siblings, and um, let us fellowship together. I hope you enjoyed our story today, and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Um, go, go, go in God's peace.